And the Archbishop said, quick as a flash, he said, the days of accountability are gone, he said. What do you believe in? And if you believe in it, then you will make it happen. My name is and I am delighted this morning. And it's a whole of I'm going to talk about affordable housing this afternoon. So I'm not able to join you. There's a link I think you can see But I'm delighted to be able to One of the great things about this festival is that it brings together people from all around this country and university. Hi, so I'm Andy Westwood. I've just been chairing a session for the uh, HE Festival on the challenges and opportunities offered by Brexit with uh, Sir Michael Barber, Anton Moscatelli and Maggie Galliers. Uh, and if you didn't catch it, I would definitely recommend that you do. Look, this is all about people meeting together. It's a fantastically interesting time in the set. Hi, I'm Ishim. I'm a civil lecturer and the founder of Inrika Robotics Lab from Cardiffet. We'll talk about robotics and AI. How can that be included in the curriculum from primary school up to high education? So come to see us. Hello, I'm Anne-Marie Canning. I am speaking at the Education Question Time at 2 o'clock. Uh, live stream's great if you're not here. I actually watched the live stream because I was delayed on my trains. Really high quality. Tune in. Education question time, 2 p.m. And I'm the director of the Academy of Ideas, and I've just chaired a special question time here at the Higher Education Festival. And well, it started off where I thought everyone was going to agree a little bit, but by the end, I think we got all of the disagreements out on the table. Uh, open air, open dialogue, open thought is what this is all about. So you are all, you know, we have uh, 60, 70 speakers, but actually, Every single person is a speaker at this festival. You are all equally important. Hi, I'm Ewan, co-founder and CEO of White Hat. It's been my pleasure talking about apprenticeships and degree apprenticeships at today's Festival of Higher Education. All of this is live streamed. Go check it out. And I am, and we are all, and the great team, fantastic team here, are so proud and pleased to see you. So thank you for coming, and I hope you have a great two days. Thank you. go into our admissions process so it's a joined up you use the word confidence in there because mm. there has been a lot of evidence that even uh, pupils who make good progress and who get the grades mm. often then don't have the confidence yeah. to apply to the, mm. the level of university they could mm. aspire to yeah. is that that element of confidence how do you instill that mm. so there's a couple of ways of doing it i think what's really critical is to distinguish between aspiration and confidence yeah. our students aspire but it's being confident in making those decisions and uh, ambitious in those um, sort of applications to university so there's a few ways we do it one good know-how goes a long way when students feel like they know the system and have the information that's great Two, we make them feel as supported as possible. Uh, and three, they're with a cohort of other students. And I think that's... to abate it and I know in Sussex, our West Sussex County Council, they'll just, 
they just pass it through anyway because they're for it. So, yeah. So that's my moan. Sure. Um, Richard and Katie, in fact, it, you've expressed it very eloquently and, and, and you've made an appeal to people here to, to put in those objections, to come and, uh, and support the protest. I just want to say about the EA because